And we are back with part two of Indigo Prophecy. Great. In five years on the force, I've seen some murders. Gotta hate this but fuck. You never really get used to death. You just learn to live with it, that's all. I still don't know if it was fatigue, cold, or something else. But I clearly remember the bad feeling I got when I walked into that restaurant. As if some part of me already knew that this time, something was different. Well, yeah. Like I said before, you might be crazy. Let's go on anyways. How's it going, McCarthy? Evening, Inspector. I've been waiting for you. Hey, Tyler. Hey, Martin. So, what happened? Homicide. I found the body in the toilet. I had to go before I went home. Uh, almost to... Victim. Who is the victim? His name was, uh, John Winston. A regular here at the restaurant. Kate knew him. She could tell you more. She could. Yeah, we'll do a uh, suspect. Do we have a suspect? A client left <coughs> before I found the body. Um, table. Which table was the suspect sitting at? Oh, he was sitting at that table over there. Uh, let's do body. Is the body still there? The boys from the morgue were waiting for you to get here before moving it. Nobody's been in the toilet since we found the body. Is that the waitress over there? Yeah, Kate Morrison. I think that you should interrogate her. If you don't mind me saying, go easy on her, Inspector. She's still in a state of shock. Thanks well, for your help, Martin. Care. It's late. I think you can go home and get some sleep. I'm going to wait until you're finished with Kate, if you don't mind. I want to make sure she gets home okay. Uh, well, to be perfectly honest, I think I'm just going to... Just gonna, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna go easy on her. That's that's what she's expecting. She's not expecting anything. Nothing. Fuck it. Let's go. <coughs> Kate, I'm Inspector Carla Valenti. I'm in charge of the investigation here. Would you mind answering a few questions? No. Go ahead. Victim. Who did you know the victim well? John was a regular. He came every Monday. He always ordered the same thing and I left a nice tip. You, buddy. Have you been working here long, Kate? It'll be 11 years next month. I've seen all sorts in this place. Down and outers, junkies, you name it. The till's been robbed a few times. But murder? That's a new one. Such a nice guy. Hmm, behavior. What was the man doing before the murder happened? He was there for a while. He was reading, I think. Mm, someone else? No description. What was he like, Kate? Do you think you could describe him for me? I only saw him for a few seconds. I guess he was about average height, fairly young. That's all I can remember. Calm down, miss. I'll fucking kill you. Motive. Do you know whether the victim had any enemies? Anybody that might want to kill him? John was just a nice, normal guy. I can't see why anybody would want to kill him. Because he's a douchebag. Was John here alone? Did he speak with anyone? John always came alone. We chatted a bit. The weather, his job. The usual stuff. He never talked to anybody else. Facts. Can you tell me what you saw? There weren't that many people tonight. It's usually pretty calm during the week. I was just chatting with Martin at the bar. I didn't even see John get up. Oh my god. Calm down, bitch. Let's cheer up. You have to try to be strong, Kate. I know that this has been a shock for you, but you're the only one who can help us find the suspect. My shift was almost over. I was just chatting with Martin at the bar. John got up and went to the restroom. The man must have followed him. And then he must have snuck out afterwards because I didn't even see him leave. What happened next? Martin went to the restroom. And that's when he found John. Aw, too bad. Mm, before. What happened before the murder? Did you notice anything unusual? No. It was just a night like any other. 
Yeah, I think she's an accomplice, huh? Huh? Did you happen to notice anything strange about John tonight? Did he seem worried or stressed out? No. He was just like he always is. He even made a joke when he came in. Do you think that you would recognize the suspect? I'll never forget that face. Huh. Perfect. Do you think that you could come down to the station tomorrow and help us construct a likeness of the killer? <coughs> yeah. I'll do whatever you think I can to help catch him. Thank you very much so for your kill him. Harvest his organs. I hope you find the bastard who did it. People like that just don't deserve to live. I promise you, we'll do everything in our power to find him. Well, to be honest, so try to get some sleep. Oh, fuck you. Martin will make sure you get home okay. Come to my apartment so I can fuck you in the ass. Because I'm. I don't have a wife. Good night. Uh, let's just get up. Let's switch to the black dude. No racist intended. Hmm. Why does he walk like that? He thinks he's so cool just walking around like that, huh? He thinks he's cool? No, you're not cool. Just to be perfectly clear. Clues. Did you find anything, Tyler? Well, that, I don't <coughs> able to keep my eyes open. Keep up the good work, Tyler. Yeah, I will. I will. Fuck you. I'll just head to the bathroom here. I need to make a whiz. Hey, Carla. I'm gonna take a look outside, see if I can find anything. Oh, shit. I don't wanna go outside. Oh, what the fuck. Maybe there's something out here. Hmm. Anything? Oh, man. That's all I needed. Door doesn't open from the outside. Oh, no. He's depressed. Oh, just a little. It's a bitty door won't open just because he's depressed. He walks day two. Um, who hold Yo, what are you? <coughs> I was wondering, you didn't happen to see anything unusual tonight, did you? I'll leave me alone. I ain't got nothing to say. I don't talk to cops. <laughs> mm. Right, thank you. You've been helpful. Oh, come on. Don't be depressed, Tyler. Actually, deep, be depressed, whatever. I don't fucking care. Come on, fucking door again. Don't be depressed. Don't be more depressed, please. Okay, thank you. I'm not just fucking... I'm just going to fuck. If I can find the entrance properly. Uh, entrance, entrance, entrance. <coughs> oh shit. God damn it. Why am I making the same mistake all over again? It really goes quick. Walking around. Jiggling my fat, jiggling, 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 I don't know if he's fat or whatever. Where'd you go, Tyler? Huh? Where'd you come from, bitch? Ah, oh, no! <coughs> what an idiot. Actually, no, I'm an idiot. Fuck that shit. God damn it. All around back. I'm wasting. I'm wasting time here. I need to get through this. Wasting precious time here. Okay. Don't go through that door. Okay. Close up on the camera. Come on. <coughs> I didn't take a piss like I promised myself. Yeah, it must be that coffee. 
Oh, she's depressed now. Don't be depressed now. I'll fucking kill you. Bizarre. <coughs> well, he still has his credit card and a hundred bucks in cash on him. I guess the killer wasn't after his money. I guess he wasn't after his fucking moolah, bitch. Hmm. I could just find. Do you know if anyone has contacted the family? Not as far as I know. Oh, right. Just what exactly <laughs> are you doing, Tyler? I'm checking for clues. What do you think? Checking for condoms and used diaphragms. See if there's any clues. And yes, diaphragms can be clues. Nice cinematic of me. Of me flushing the fucking toilet. Get the fuck out of my way, whore. Come on. Okay, there we go. Try to find this douchebag. You know? Unless there's a gang running around hiding bloody knives and toilets, I think <coughs> I might have found a murder weapon. Oh, yay. Wait. Tell Garrett, have him check for prints on the handle. Okay. Uh, even I could find that fucking knife on the ground. It's just right there and stab him on the damn ground. Idiots. Okay, we're wasting time here. Let's go. You ready to go, Tyler? I think I've seen everything I need to see. Are you sure? We can take another look around if you want. I want to confirm this now. No, nope, we're good. Let's head home. Okay, let's bust. Cool. Carla agrees to go. Let's get into the car before she changes her mind. You're the one who... God, what a stupid prick. You were the one... You were the one pondering. You're the one who asked her, Are you sure you want to go? What an idiot. <laughs> Retard. You should know better. Get into the car, Tyler. That's right, let's go. Bye bye. No, not 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 bye bye now. Oh, so scary.